Uh, this is the view. We're looking out of our homemade teardrop, looking out into the screen room. Uh, just scanning up, we have, if you can catch it, we have a TV screen from the ceiling there. Gathered from a discount store. We have storage and nets coming around the top to keep things up and out of the way. We have clothes hanging on hooks. I thought the hooks were a great idea. We have an air conditioner. Uh, scavenge have a discount core for $25. We have uh, just our normal things. This is after a two-day camping trip. So you can see we still have everything scattered here. We have the sleep bag. It's a nice, cozy little place. It has the folding doors. One of my favorite things is the little hats with the lights on them. I just love them. Really works well in the dark. You punch it right on there and you have your bright lights coming out. You're going to be able to see them good in the daylight, of course. But, uh, but this is our little screen room. They sell attachments for the teardrops, but we just kind of took and made, and it works very well. Of course, the screen room gives you room to stand up and dress, have your electronic stuff where it's safe, tables, chairs, porta potty. And coming outside, you come out and you can see what we actually have. What we actually have is a first up awning with the camper accessories stuck in the middle. Uh, Walmart used to carry them. They're hard to find anymore. But it makes a great 10 by 10 room. And uh, it just, it's got all the comforts of home. Coming around to our teardrop. Our teardrop is not exactly shaped like a teardrop. It's 4 by 8. Camouflaged, of course. This here was a uh, utility trailer that somebody had used to haul mulch. I uh, got it for $180. We built the uh, teardrop of frame. You know, this this we just covered it up. We just covered it in what it was. Brought up plywood around it. Underneath it, it still got the original wood for the, about that high. And uh, coming across it, it is sealed in canvas. A very uh, green, if you will. And T2 wood bonding glue covered with uh, latex paint and then camouflage paint. Very important because we couldn't do fiberglass because my wife is allergic to everything. So it really worked out that we were able to do it like they did them in the 30s. Got most of the ideas off the internet. But this is after two days. It's set up, did well. And I'll try to get you a view of all of it going down through there. But it's made a very comfortable, comfortable. You can pull the trailer with anything. I mean, you can push it around by hand. I pull it with a Dodge Dakota. But it, you can't even tell it's back there. But you can get as fancy or as simple as you like. But it's worked for us. I wanted to get the attachment kit, uh, but they were all four and six hundred dollars, and so we just made it. We just took a razor blade and cut, and just put it over the end of the trailer. It's worked ingeniously well. All this took about two years of thinking in my mind before I actually did anything, because I'm not very uh, handy. My wife's still surprised, but it's made a very nice, uh, economical, all in all, and the whole trailer finished is just uh, around $400. And of course, you didn't spend all the money at once, and the awning was already ours, and the tent we got at Walmart, you know, and used it a time or two, so it's just kind of a, like I said, this is after it's dirty and messed up after two days of camping. And it's still very functional, very useful. The TV screen that comes down from the ceiling. Uh, got video games over there. They got, you know, DVD player down in there. But the bags are great. They just came out of old car trunks. You know how people have them SUV and car trunks. Just a very nice way to simply store things without all the stuff. We didn't put a kitchen in because uh, it just takes too much space. And I really like the idea of being able to just be open to come out or to sit in the end of the trailer and to watch. Without the screen room, we've actually had deer come up to the trailer in the morning. Uh, you can see the campfire without the screen room or out through the door. Uh, but it's just so cool. Like I said, the screen room is mainly for my wife because she needs a place to get dressed in private and those kind of things. But between the whole setup, it has really made a nice deal. See, it's just a, it's just a, one of those... Uh, 
awnings there. One of the first up awnings with the tent accessories stuck in it. Ozark Trail made them, I believe. But it's worked out well. We've got, now she wouldn't want you to show that, but we have a, got the clothes hamper down there for the clothes to gather up. We've got an electric blanket in case it got colder. It was 40 some last night and it was kind of chilly. I'll have to uh, fill a crack or two somewhere. Uh, like I said, there are bathroom facilities at most campgrounds anyway, but that's just for middle of the night in case she needs it. Fishing pole. She caught her first uh, three or four fish yesterday. She caught a five or six pounder uh, once and maybe a six or eight pounder. And then the big one last night, you couldn't, well, oh, it just couldn't, no, oh, it, it just broke the line coming up the bank. It was just, but it was huge. Big old catfish. But like I said, this is just a, this is just a demo to show what, what can be done with very little money. These are our homemade doors. It just closes like that. My, uh, my brother in a wheelchair sprayed it for me. I asked him to show me how to do the pattern, and he just kind of took over, but he did a great job. And like I said, the, when the doors are closed, it just shuts up. I'll try to add a little bit of video showing that part of it. But uh, it's just cool. Just cool. I'll take you around one more time. Like I said, the idea of videos is mainly to give people ideas. I watched a lot of other people's ideas. One of the coolest things that, that I learned was... Uh, how to make your electrical system, which is basically just the extension cord. It's a short one, like it's uh, three or four inches. It just goes through the wall, drill a hole, put the extension cord in through it, uh, spray the uh, spray foam, which is a wonderful addition if you build things like I do, and you're, it's just like a weed eater. You plug your electric system up and you now have electricity. You can get as fancy as you want. You can have breakers across on the inside. Or you can have a big heavy duty extension cord with some outlets. There's lots of ways to do it. This is the outside of our $25 air conditioner that we got. All because it didn't have a uh, uh, remote and doesn't have buttons on it. But the TV remote works fine for it. So if you ever get one and lose your remote, try the TV remote. We've even got cable for campgrounds that have cable. We just covered all the way around. But there's our deal right there back him up and give you a look at him there very functional very functional little thing and I'll even get my wife in it and there's a picture you can show your wife that somebody's wife will actually go in with you and here we are all hooked up and ready to go as you see it's real small you can pull it with anything maybe a motorcycle I mean it is camouflage paint is the way to go to hide every imperfection and it's still a work in progress. It's not perfect yet. Probably never will be perfect, but neither will I. And we're working our way around. That's it with the doors closed. Like I said, you can put the rounded top more if you want to. We didn't know how to make the curve that much better at that point in time. But as you do it, you learn. You learn as you go. The best thing about it, you don't notice any difference in the gas mileage. And it's a very comfortable bed up off the ground. Like I said, not bad at all considering who made it. Like a fella told me one time about a car. God was busy that day, so people had to build that car, so it's not perfect. But y'all have a great day. One of the things I thought was neat is we just use all the odd things. These are weights off of somebody's weight system if they discarded and threw away. They make great blocks for the tires. They make great weights to hold down your, uh, your tent. I mean, they just come in so handy for so many things. So we're very green.